Quickly log and reconcile receipts using the Receipt Capture tool and the Cost Inbox. Let's say that we're out in the field and we stop by Home Depot to pick up some materials for the job. Either on your phone, your tablet, your computer, you can click on the Record Expense icon on the top right. Here we can snap a photo of the receipt, and then we can indicate which job the receipt is for. Now this list is going to be limited to the jobs that we have access to. Next, we'll choose the vendor for the receipt. Now this could be a store or supplier or maybe even a subcontractor who sent you a bill. All vendors on this list are from your vendor directory. Now some of you may choose to create a vendor in your directory called unknown or not listed, just in case the vendor on this receipt is not in your directory quite yet. Once you add the vendor to your directory, you'll be able to easily switch the vendor on this expense. You can also add an asterisk in front of the vendor name in your directory to have them appear at the top of the list. That's what you'll see right here. Now, these are the only required fields when logging a receipt. So at this point, I could save the receipt and someone else in my office can take it from here. If, however, you'd like to continue adding receipt details, then we can add a description right here. This will end up being the subject for the expense. Now we can also choose which line the expense should be applied to. By clicking the drop-down menu, you can select the cost item or cost code for the expense. Then you'll indicate the total amount for that line. Now if you'd like to apply the amount to multiple items or codes on your budget, you can add an additional line with the amount as well. If you've enabled purchase tax to be recorded on your bill templates, you'll notice that a tax line is here where you can enter the tax amount for your receipt. Now let's say that the receipt amount needs to be split between two different jobs. Well, we can click on the plus job option on the top right. Here we can select each job and then we can reconcile the expenses to the appropriate cost items or cost codes on the jobs. Now when creating an expense, we are creating a draft bill document from behind the scenes. So by default, the system is going to use the first document template that includes the word receipt or expense in the template name. By expanding the additional options section, you can choose to use a different document template for this expense if you'd like. You also have the option here to backdate the expense date, which may be necessary if you're logging a receipt later than when you actually made the expense. Once your receipts are logged, you can find them in your cost inbox. You can find the cost inbox in the documents section, either at the job level or the global level. Let's begin by opening the documents tool from your main navigation. Then we'll click on the tab called cost inbox. Here you'll see all draft bills from all your jobs in one place. Easily click on a record and the update expense box will open. This allows you to easily adjust the original record. Here we can correct any lines, adjust the description, change the vendor, and verify the entry. We also have the option to mark this as paid right here on this window. By doing so, we will have moved the bill document from a draft status to a paid status, and it will be reconciled as needed in the job budget. You will also notice that the expense disappears from the cost inbox because it's no longer in draft form. You can then just find it in the documents tab in general. If you would rather open the bill document itself, you also have a quick link on each record to do so. Now a cost inbox can also be found on the job. Then we'll select the documents tab and then choose the cost inbox. This inbox is extremely helpful if you'd like to focus on reviewing expenses for one job at a time. Now we hope these tools help your team both in the field and in the office stay on the same page. If you have any questions, please contact your success manager or email support at jobtread.com. Thank you.